Okay. I want to talk a little bit about Jewish law. A lot of the, the laws make a lot of sense. There were signs of things to come. Now here's, here's something that you might have never heard about Jewish people's garments. You see, there's something called shotness. What does shotness mean? Shotness means that the garment is made from linen, which is flaxseed, and wool, which comes from sheep. You don't want to mix the linen with the wool, or it's shotness. And according to Jewish law, you can't wear shotness. And they actually have inspectors that go with a, micro and they, uh, with a microscope or a whatever, and they, and they actually analyze the fibers of the fabric to make sure that there's no linen mixed with the wool. You know? Because there's going to be sheep, among wolves among the sheep, right? <laughs> or there's going to be people who, who mix their religion or don't get the right way. And they talk about genetically modified um, uh, wheat and substances. You know that the um, that some of the crops, grape crops, the grape, the grapes, and, and the crops were not to be crossbred. They had to be purebred. What am I getting down to? Seeds. You see, the seed that came from Mary that was implanted was the true seed the seed of all who believe, the chosen. Abraham was of the seed, and anybody who believes like Abraham does is of the seed. But that seed was by faith, not by bloodline. And see, this is where shotness comes in. Every race exalts themselves, including the Jews. We're the chosen people. Well, the Muslim thinks, because of Ishmael, you can look up who Ishmael is, he's Hagar's son, Abraham's first child, so if he's Abraham's firstborn, why isn't he the chosen? Because it wasn't by bloodline, it was by faith that Abraham was chosen. You see, and anybody who goes into the kingdom, okay, and doesn't go by, by one way, okay, by faith, is shotness. And this is why it says, I am the Lord your God, you shall have no other gods before me. Because if you're trying to get into heaven by any other means, by praying to an idol, or even praying to the wrong God, you see, taking the Lord's name in vain, second commandment, taking the name Yeshua and mixing it with Moses, okay, works, is shotness. Because Yeshua is the only name under the sun. Not the Hebrew Yeshua, Jesus, I don't care who you call him. It means God saves. If you don't believe in God's saves, salvation, and you mix God's salvation with works, you're shotness. Okay? This is all about genetics. Talk about evolution in Hitler. Well, Darwinism. Okay? Darwinism led to Nietzscheism. Nietzscheism led to Hitler. Look it all up. The whole idea of eugenics and making the superhuman race because Hitler believed, as did many because of Darwin's theory of evolution, okay, and the idea that if we don't have natural selection, in other words, survival of the fittest, then a race will die off if the weak do not survive. So in Darwin's idea, the evolutionist believes, or has to believe, in killing off the weak. Is that sick or what? So if you're retarded, Jewish, and you know what the funny thing is, is that these same eugenists are, are the ones that are touting the, the blacks and the Jews and all the eth ethnicities, right, to join them and, and say that they're for their cause. When in reality, gays, being gay is a genetic disorder. And according to, in, in, in Russia, if you were against the political party, you had, you, you had a mental disorder and they lobotomized you. It's all, about, it's all about eugenics, right? About seeds. If it's evolution, then we have to be murderous. Instead of what God says, that Jesus will pick the society and the society in the heaven is perfect and not shotness, man is trying to make a utopia on earth. With religion or without religion, it's still the same. See, that's the big picture. That's, that's the reason why, okay, we have this whole movement of, of self-sterilization. We have Hitler putting old people, uh, you know, a, a gassing them because he believed that the Jews were an inferior race. He believed that black people were an inferior race. He believes that gays have something wrong with them genetically. You have to get rid of them. Anybody who's autistic has to be gotten rid of.
Anybody that's not of the Aryan race has to be getting rid, gotten rid of. They, and those people are sick in the mind, so they're the, actually the ones that we should be out of their race from the genetic code because they're the ones that are going to destroy it. When God made everybody perfect and we ate that fruit, we were genetically modified to the point where nobody can get that genetic um, uh, deformity out of man. But some of the genetic uh, deformities made some of the best men. So to take the genetic formity, deformity out or try to eradicate it would mean that we would get rid of people like Einstein. So love and compassion, the utopian society is not love and compassion. It's kill the weak and so that this way then we can have love and compassion. It's Frankenstein. See, this is the big picture, people. I hope you see it. Thanks.